just got noticed that FedEx is on its way with a delivery that I've been waiting for since, I don't know, 2013. So I'm super excited and I'm bombing my way home to be there. Also, riding a one wheel and vlogging on a 1DX literally look like you're from the future, so super fun. This, this box, oh my goodness, this box, I've been waiting. <laughs> this company, Freefly, put out a video with a cinematographer by the name of Vincent Lafore showing how their three axis gimbal, like the first one ever to be seen on this, this globe, this planet, Earth, how it works. Some dude was just hoofing it in rollerblades, mind blown completely. I've wanted one ever since then. Here you see it on uh, roller skates. And uh, we're running after a cab, and when people see this shot, they're like, okay, I guess it's a steady cam guy running really quick. And then the camera just places itself through the window, and one of the producers that saw this said, well, where's the, the platform for the steady cam guy to stand on to make this shot? How did you pull that off? And then here, uh, John pulls away from the cab and keeps riding, and then people go, well, how did you do that? And the reality is, in the cinema world, we have lots of limitations, and this tends to really eliminate them. That's why I find that at the, at the start, this is an incredibly exciting um, yeah. piece of future technology that will really be applicable to high-end filmmakers in Hollywood, all the way down to indie filmmakers all over the world, pretty much. Yeah. I have it on my desk, the newest, biggest, baddest version of this. Well, it's not the, the biggest, baddest version. They have like a they have a bigger version, but it's. It's a little overkill for me. I mean, I got, I mean, it might not be overkill for me, considering like, no, it's definitely overkill for me. So right here in this box is the Freefly Movi Pro. And ugh, I, okay, full disclosure, I've had this sitting like in my office for like four days now. I put out a tweet like last week saying, something I've been waiting for for 10 years has finally arrived. And I got like the most engagement ever of all my tweets, which is awesome, so thank you. This is the box, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna run like three angles on this bad boy, cause like, uh, this is the unboxing I've been waiting to unbox since I was a kid, so. I'm Let's do this. <sighs> Rolling. There's Gabriel, what's up dude? <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, if I look ridiculous, I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. It's all about what's inside the box. Okay, this is the Pete cam. Here we go. I don't even want to cut through this sticker here. Oh. Yes, that's the Halo theme song. Oh. Oh, it's the other way around. Hang on a second. Mobi Pro camera stabilization system. Ooh, ooh, let's just take a moment here. The Mimic. Oh, we'll get into what this is in a minute. I don't even have enough room for all this. Okay, you go there, you get out of my face. Camera, oh, this is heavy. Okay, box number two. So you guys can see, it says Movi Pro. The stable, I think this right here, this has gotta be like the brain. This is like, this is the money box right here that, that does all the work. Uh, and then below, slide this over. Below we have the Movi Ring Pro. You can see I'll tip that so you guys can see. It's at the very bottom of the box, just nestled in there perfectly like a, like a game of Tetris that you just, oh, just went clutch on. Ah, oh. That's called the boom mic. Easy there, buddy, easy there. Spoiler alert, there's a boom mic up there. <laughs> Let's leave this on the bottom as the base. It's like a tasty little pizza box right there. And then we will move this. Ugh. This thing comes with a ton of tools because this is the big leagues right here, guys. Welcome aboard. This is where the real athletes play. <sighs> little bag of tools. All right, 
Cool, number one. We got screwdriver number one. Look at that, they even branded their screwdrivers. That is awesome, super cool. I'm a big fan of that. Number one, number two, those are gonna be handy to have on set when you need to rig this thing up. A little bit of instructions here. I will definitely be hanging on to these. Look at that. It's so clean. First things first, what I'm noticing from the old one, is I was just shooting with the, uh, the M10 in Kenya. All the wires are hidden within like the actual carbon fiber arms that make this thing up, which is super cool. Really well thought out. Just the execution of this is incredible. I don't even know how to lift this thing up. Let's start with the batteries. Finally, some incredible batteries. The old batteries were a little bit different. These are hot swappable batteries that you can just boop, charge like, like normal batteries, which is great. You don't need those crazy leads anymore. So super amped with that. And then we have gimbal arm itself. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Dude, just look at this. Forget the unboxing for a second. Look at this. That's nice. It's so oh, nice. Man. Oh, like you've, we've used other gimbals. Oh yeah. No, this. That thing is, that's intense. Yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. I just am so pumped right now. I could just squeal. Mm. Where does, one of these, this must be the charger. Cables. What do you got? I really need to put this down. It's heavier than you think. This looks like another charger. Oh, that's two chargers for oh AC adapter. Okay, cool. How do I even get it back in? Can I even? Doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Oof. Wow, look at that. This is awesome. Wow, that's way lighter than I thought. Just feel that. This is as smooth as, I, I don't think I've ever felt anything smoother than this. Oh, that's, I don't even wanna use this. It's so perfect and like fresh that I don't even wanna use it. So just wanna put it all back in the box and like hide it under my bed forever. <laughs> Never gonna happen. So that's the Movi Ring. Uh, Man, I'm gonna get this all set up. Uh, let's open the Mimic real quick. Super cool that they include this. This is called the Mimic. So essentially, if you're gonna operate this, uh, this gimbal with two people, one person can run with the, the gimbal, focusing on like their movement and like where they're gonna go and if they need to run through small areas and fences or hop fences or hand it off, all they have to worry about is like the actual movement where the person holding the Mimic is gonna be controlling the actual camera movement of that gimbal. So if you had someone hanging on the back of a truck, if I point this thing up, the camera on the gimbal will point up. So it just mimics my actions using this, which is absolutely ridiculous. Coolest thing I've ever seen. So uh, a lot of that is controlled through this little jobby right here. And then that clips onto the handlebars, which is this thing. That clips on here, you basically just pilot the gimbal when someone else is using it. So you wanna look up and you're just, you've got a monitor mounted, you're watching the monitor and you are just flying the camera, standing still while someone else runs with it. Ugh. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm gonna set this whole thing up. I'm gonna try and get it mounted into the ring, use all the screws, put the whole thing together. I'll be back in two seconds. High five. Oof. High five. So you might be asking yourself, Pete, why are you showing us this gimbal? What do, uh, what's, what's the deal with this whole thing? Mostly, 
I wanted you guys to be included into something that I've been waiting my whole career as a filmmaker to own and unbox. This is a really special piece of equipment that I've had my eyes on for years and years and years now. So I'm super pumped to be able to unbox it with you guys, share the experience with you, and talk to you a little bit about this company, Freefly, and why their gimbals are the best hands down because they started the whole thing. If that's not something you knew, there you go, a little fun fact. And I wanted to touch on investing in yourselves because gear is expensive and owning lots of different things and pieces of equipment and tech can, can get really pricey. And as a filmmaker, that can be frustrating and there's, you don't know what to spend your money on. And should I put it here or here or here? Camera support is something that I'm a huge believer in, which is where this gimbal would fall into the category of. Something that helps the camera achieve shots that you can't get on your own. Getting a lens, getting a body, that's obviously something that everyone has to do, but then being able to take those things, the lens and the body, putting it on something like this that's just gonna skyrocket at your footage through the roof. All right, let's boot this thing up. Check this out. Hit the power button to start. Hands off. Stabilized. Look at that. Look at that. Completely, completely stable. And one of the best parts of this is that it now has feet, so you can just set it down when you're done and you don't have to hand it off to somebody or go find the stand. <laughs> that in and of itself is, ugh. You don't even understand how amazing that is. I have been on so many shoots where we're literally just passing the gimbal around so people can take turns holding it because it's so heavy and your arms feel like they're gonna just melt off your body, but you can just set it down anywhere to tune it or to take a break, which is just a massive improvement. So <laughs> free fly. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Check this thing out. This is called Mimic. This is a remote controller that goes onto these handlebars here. It snaps in like this. You tighten it down with this little lock because they've thought everything out. Boom, locked on. All you gotta do, I hit bind on this. Bind, bind. Wherever I move this, the gimbal mimics. So if I wanna point up, if I wanna point down, left, right, up, over, what is even happening? So like I said, if we're filming a chase scene and someone's hanging out the back of my truck, all they have to do is just worry about holding the gimbal and not dropping it. And then I could be inside the truck watching on a monitor here, controlling the camera from inside the cab. Or you've got someone running through the woods and they're jumping over logs and weaving in and out of trees and that kind of thing. So all they need to focus on is not falling or tripping, just making sure that camera stays in motion. I'm just controlling where the camera's looking as they're following the subject through the woods. It's just, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even have, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's something I've literally been waiting to open since I first heard about Freefly Systems and uh, invested all of my time into watching every single video they put out. If you're someone who even remotely enjoys cameras or behind the scenes stuff, these guys post some incredible rigs and incredible videos of cameras doing things that you probably would never even imagine. So, so check them out below, comment, tell them I sent you, say hi for me. Guys, that's it. Hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if that's uh something that you're into, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The camera's actually pretty far for me to do the hat thing, so like maybe I could just like throw it, like, like, ugh. Hey, uh, 1DX Mark II, do you wanna go shoot? Like right now? Do you wanna go outside right now? <gasps> Let's go.